morning, good morning, good morning, my beautiful, beautiful people. I hope your day is going great so far, and I hope you're having a great night. Or oh, I hope you had a great night, sorry. Um, some of you may know and some of you may not know, but this is Mental Health Week. Um, and uh, we all know that mental health is very important to me. It's something that I am unfortunately very familiar with. So unfortunately, something that I deal with and live with every day and uh, getting back on track. We're going to talk about it. Okay. So. Like I said, this is Mental Health Awareness Week. And each year, millions of Americans face the reality of living with a mental health condition. However, mental illness affects everyone directly or indirectly through family, friends, or co-workers. This is why each year, during the first week of October, NAMI and participants across the country raise awareness of mental illness, fight discrimination, and provide support through Mental Awareness Week. We believe that mental health conditions are important to discuss year-round by highlighting them during the Maui provides a dedicated time for health advocates across the country to come together as one unified voice. Since 1990, when Congress officially established the first week of October as Mental Ill Illness Awareness Week, advocates have worked together to sponsor activities, large or small, to educate the public about mental illness. This year, it's centered around a new awareness campaign, Together for Mental Health where we will focus on the importance of advocating for better care for people with serious mental illness. Each day throughout the week, we will be raising the voices of people with who lived experience to talk about SMI, serious mental illness, and the need for improved crisis response in mental health care. During the week, it runs from October 3rd to October 9th and coincides with additional related events, okay? Um, I will be participating, hopefully, in the NAMI Walks, United Day of Hope. We always have that out in Davenport, Iowa, and I may just be a part of that. It's, I'll let you guys know. Um, there are many ways that you guys can engage with NAMI. Um, there are many videos featured on YouTube uh, speaking about anxiety, bipolar, borderline personality. Unfortunately, those three things I have a lot in common with. Um, I don't want to bore you people at all. So if you do not wish for me to speak about anxiety, bipolar, and dissociative personality disorder, please leave it in the comment that you're not interested and I will not waste your time or mine, okay? Please do that. If you would like more information or how I deal with or what I do when I am stressed or when I'm going through a um, a triggering moment, I'll be more than share to share that with you. If not, I'll keep that to myself. Okay? Okay. Um, so, yeah, please get involved. You guys can find us on NAMI.org. I'm pretty sure that you have some family members or friends that deal with mental illness, although we hear it on the YouTube streets that, People are afraid to speak on their mental illness when it's clear that a lot of people have a lot of fucking issues and it's not just jealousy, hatred, and envy. Okay? Um, I know that for a fact, discovering that you suffer from a mental illness can be fucked up and devastating, right? Um... We're faced with a lot of challenges. And most people like me, I work hard to pursue treatment for myself. And it's just that it's treatment. It's how for me to be able to deal with daily life, right? A lot of people like to say, I don't take pills to survive. Good for you. I don't take them to survive either. I take them to free my mind from all the demons. To free my mind from the torture and the turmoil that my brain and my memory suffers, okay? Um, but even with all of that, it's still good to keep a positive outlook, okay? And definitely, 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 I learned this the hard way, my husband and I both, you have to maintain good communication with the people that you care about, and it is challenging. 
because nobody you feel like if you're the only one that suffers nobody wants to understand it or no one can understand it me i'm the opposite it's like i don't want to put my burden on anybody else and nor do i want to have to explain how i feel when nine times out of ten i can't explain it okay so despite your best efforts you're gonna feel sad you're gonna be depressed you're gonna be frustrated because of this illness and they're normal but the one thing i want you people to know don't repress that in fact expressing them in writing or through a friend can help you cope i know it does for me so at the end of that and with me saying that i always try to um get a poem that represents how I feel or if I cannot find one or if I can't think of one I'm sorry if I'm not my juices aren't flowing properly then I can find one and I found this one it's called a husband's poem um and it's written by a young lady who suffers from anxiety and depression like myself okay um she did not okay her name is Haley B Johnston okay you can find this poem where I always find my poems family friend poems and she wrote this for her husband and it resonates with me because I feel the same way about mom okay and it's called love is patient you tell me every day how much I mean to you now it's time for me to say what I know is absolutely true I know how much you love me and just how much you care you don't always have to say it because you do just by being that I know you really worry every time my mood seems to change I want you and only you no matter how often I act strange I may not have life figured out but trust me it's okay because with you no matter what I have the strength to make it through each day you love me on my bad days more than you do the good ones you love me more when you've had enough and think that you should run you always know when to hold me down but never hold me back i know i fail that task a lot but you always pick up the slack don't ever doubt yourself on what you're doing is right just know that i am so thankful to have a man like you in my life i know i'm not always the best when it comes to getting things done but that is why i have you and how i know you are the one it's like I wrote that shit myself, but that is how I feel. And my husband and I are not perfect. And when I was going through my shit before I was actually diagnosed, it was turmoil through on my home. When you wake up angry and you're upset, and the only one that you have to take it out on is the people closest to you. And that is not fair. It's not right. It's not cool. Be lucky. Anybody that is dealing with mental health, that you have somebody in your life that is willing to sit there, to listen, to learn. But not just hear you, listen and respond. My husband has gone through therapy appointments with me. My husband knows the things to do, the things not to do. It's not easy living with a person like me. And I give everybody who does live, like, live with a person like me much kudos, much respect, much love. Because it takes a certain type of person to deal with a certain type of people like me okay um so yeah that's pretty much all i want to say to you to you guys today i hope that you have a great great day again mental health awareness week reach out to someone you never know what someone goes through every day you might be the one person to pull them out of a funk okay so, yeah, very dry video because I'm a very dry bitch, right? <laughs> so, um, again, thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Again, if somebody has not told you, you are special. Someone loves you. Someone cares about you. If you're dealing with the shit that I deal with, the one thing that helped me get through is to make sure that you love yourself as much as the people that love you. Because if you don't love yourself, you can't give real love to somebody else. And I also learned that the hard way. 
And I'm still learning to love. I'm still learning to care. And that's all I can do. So with everybody, hope you have a great night. Hope you have a great day. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your peace. Let people be miserable while you YOLO. Because we only live once. Right? Have a great day, guys. Love and respect. Peace.